makeup brush declutter i really need to just kind of whittle my brushes down to the ones that i actually use this right here is my i got this off of shop missay this is like a dollar 55 this is pretty much all of the eye brushes that i use on a daily basis uh, whenever i do my makeup this is pretty much what i grab for i do have a few highlighter brushes in here as well but yeah this is pretty much all I use where my makeup brushes are concerned as far as my eye brushes anyway. Um, let me show you what I have over here and basically kind of show you what I'm working with. What I'm trying to do is to do kind of a soft revamping of my vanity. You know, I keep all of my makeup brushes, my shop, my stash, my uh, project empties are on the top. And then, you know, my makeup drawers, you guys have seen those in my declutters. You've seen those in my shop, my stashes. And I'm just kind of wanting to kind of declutter a little bit, kind of revamp a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around so you can see what it is that I'm talking about. So this is where I keep my makeup brushes basically in the back of the vanity. These are pretty much all eye brushes. There are a couple of face brushes in here, but this is basically all eye brushes. The goal is to whittle down to the point where I only have to have the kind of clear acrylic here. This one I got from Burlington, the black one I got from Amazon. I'm wanting to pull the black one out and just have the acrylic one. I also have face brushes that I keep in this container. This one I got from Five Below and then more face brushes over here. This one came from Hot Topic. I love this one. This is actually a Milan mug, but I thought it was perfect for makeup brushes. I really do need to also declutter my lip and eyeliners, but that's going to be for another day. I, I know I'm not going to have time to get to that today, but this is basically what we're going to be working on today. The goal, like I said at the beginning of the video, is to, just to kind of slowly revamp this because as you can see, there's a lot going on up here. It's organized clutter, but there is a lot. If I can kind of figure out a better system, I would like to be able to do that. I've been looking at acrylic organizers to replace this one. I got this one from Walmart and it, it's it's worked. I mean, it's it's done its duty. I haven't really had any you know complaints or anything about it, but I would like to just upgrade it and get like an acrylic organizer over here and then maybe put this one in my bathroom or give it to my daughter. And then this lip organizer, you guys have seen anytime I've done like my shop, my stashes, my collection videos. They're, most of the lipsticks on here are ones that I don't even use. Like they're ones that I am uh, have just for collecting. Like most of the ones on this side, these two from Mulan. I bought an, another lipstick organizer that kind of looks more like a display piece. I'll drop a picture in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I want to put that one back here. I think it'll just be more appealing as far as, you know, looking, you know, just it'll look better in the background, more like, a, you know, a display piece as opposed to just this little random organizer. And then go ahead and pull this one out. I mean, I don't have many lipsticks on here. There's just really no reason to have this over here when it's just not useful to me anymore. All right, so what I'm going to do is take everything off the top of the vanity except for the brushes and we are going to start to go through them and we are going to start to declutter. Let's go ahead and start with these first. Like I said, these are the ones that I pretty much use all the time. At least most of them are in here. Some of these are kind of mixed. I can show you like which ones are some of my favorites and see if there's any in here that I want to pull out as well. And then we'll just kind of work our way to the other brushes. Of all of the eye brushes that I currently have, this one right here is my absolute favorite. I got this from Beauty Bay. I don't know like what the actual name of the brush is. This was part of a pride makeup brush set that I picked up. It was the first time that I ever used Beauty Bay. And I have looked on the website and I have not seen this brush individually. This brush is, it, it is everything. The shape, the actual size of the brush. I use this on my outer corner and then going into the crease and it just works perfectly for my eye shape. I have smaller eyelid space. I also have a little bit of hooding on the outside of my eyes and this is my absolute favorite brush. I wish I could find more like it. If I do see any more, yeah, I will snatch them up. This is my favorite. And we have all of my Blend Bunny brushes. We will definitely be keeping all of these. I move things around a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit easier to see the brushes, but these are my Blend Bunny brushes. I will not be getting rid of any of these. I love these. These two are from Real Techniques. They're just really small, fine pointed crease brushes. Love these. These three are highlighter brushes. These two I got from Five Below. These are from Critique or something like that. But they're really nice. And this one is from Shop Masse. I will be hanging on to all three of these as well. It has some smaller, more detailed brushes in it that I like to use for like the outer corner. This one came from Boxy Charms, from Eloise. 
This is a small pointed eyeshadow crease brush. I got this one from Perfusion. I absolutely love it. And then this one came from a Shot Miss A set. I will be hanging on to all three of these as well. This one I am going to declutter. It's like a really small like pointed pencil brush. I use it sometimes for inner corner highlight but it really is too stiff. I don't really like it so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I have a couple of blending brushes. Fluffy blending brushes. I love both of these. This one came from a set that I got from She Glam and then this one came from a set that I got from Amazon. Round the blend. That's what this one says. And then this one says Monge targeted blending brush. Both of these are really excellent for like fluffing out the uh, eyeshadow. Like when you lay down everything and you just want to blend out the edges. This is, these are really, really good for that. This one I'm going to declutter. It's a flat shader brush, but it's really kind of big and a little bit stiff. I've tried to make this one work as far as putting on like shimmers and stuff, but it just really doesn't work for me. So we're going to declutter this one. This one I love. I got this one from Shop Miss A. It's got, it's a face brush. When I got it, it said that it was a blush brush, but as you can see, it's kind of small. I use this to apply under eye powder and it just works beautifully for that. This is the F32, if you were wondering. Some more shader brushes. This one I'm going to clutter. This one it was also from that Beauty Bay. Um, It's just too thick. It's just too wide. It's just not enough detail for me. All of these though, I will be hanging on to. These two came from Shop Miss A. They're part of an AOA Studio brush set. They have, I don't know if you can see it, but they're angled on the top and they're Perfect for laying down shimmers or even laying down shadow across the lower lash line. Love these. This one is a bigger shader brush. I like this one though because even though it is a little bit fluffier, it's long and flat and just works really, really well for laying shimmer like all over the lid. And then these two are smaller and more detailed. This one came from Amazon. This one came out of a Makeup Revolution set and I, I mean a Makeup Revolution advent calendar and I love them both. It's another flat shader brush that I love. This one came out of an Amazon set. This is a double in a brush that I got from Beauty Bay. I love this one. You have an angled flat brush on the side that's perfect for laying down shimmer and then a pointed crease brush here that's great for like putting eyeshadow in the crease. Love this one. And I'm not a big fan of like double-sided brushes but that one I do love. And then these two are perfect for inner corner highlight. This one came from Trey Luce. It's kind of a flat detail brush and this one is longer and pointier but this one is so soft and flexible. I love it. So these are all the ones that I'm keeping in here and I knew I'd be keeping most of those. Let's move into these. I'm just going to pull everything out and then we can slowly start going through them. I'm pretty sure most of the ones in here I am going to declutter. These two I will be keeping. These are great for under eye powder and under eye concealer. I'll be hanging on to these. I got this from Shop Miss A. Uh, AOA Studio. These are the F30. I got two, three brushes actually, four, excuse me, four of these because I really, really loved the way that they apply under eye concealer and under eye powder. So I will be hanging on to all four of these. I'm also going to be hanging on to these two. These are from Real Techniques. These are really good for doing detailed concealer, like really getting into those inner corners underneath the eyes. So we're going to hang on to these two. Are these the same? Yeah, both of these are brush five. Fluffy, mm, similar to these, but I like these more. I'm going to go ahead and declutter these and I'm not really going to get much use out of them. So it's time to let these go. I'm also going to declutter these two. They're like the, the detailed um, liner brushes, like really fine liner. I don't use brushes like these. I don't use gel eyeliner or anything like that. So these kind of brushes, they're just sitting in my collection taking up space. They don't get used. I'm going to get rid of these. This one is just another highlighter brush. I really, really like this one. I think this is the Milani brush. All the writing is written off, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that came from Milani. This one I will definitely be decluttering. This was part of a free set of brushes I got from Perfusion. I guess it was like a free with gift purchase or something, a free gift to purchase. This is so stiff and so hard. I don't even understand what you're supposed to use this brush for, but it is so freaking hard that it really doesn't work for anything as far as what I need my brushes to do. I'm also going to declutter this one. It's round, very, very stiff though. I This just does absolutely nothing for me. Um, this one is okay. It's a wider 
flat brush. This was actually part of a magnetic eye set. So all the ones that have these little copper bottoms, it's part of a magnetic eye brush set that used to hang in this magnetic holder that actually broke. My daughter got them for me for Christmas a couple of years. So all of these brushes I'm going to hang on to. But this one is the eyeshadow brush is what it says. It's just a flat shader brush. It's, it's nice. I like this one. I'll be hanging on to both of these. These came from, I don't even know what the name of the brush set is because it's come off, but I know I got them from Five Below. They're flat, like, um, shader eyeshadow brushes, but I also like to use these for concealer. So I will be hanging on to these. Most of these right here, I know that I'm going to be getting rid of. Most of these are like, or all of them are like smaller, more detailed brushes. There are some eyebrow brushes in here, some like flat liner brushes in here. I'm going to keep the ones or pull out rather the ones that I know I'm not going to use. And I know that's going to be like most of those. So let me go ahead and do that now. This one I'm going to get rid of. It's a sh kind of a shader brush. It came from Trace Luce, but oh my God, it's so like big and just wild. I've tried to make this work. And when I use this one, shadow just seems to go everywhere. I have like no trouble whatsoever with this brush. Of all of the smaller, more detailed brushes, these are the ones that I'm going to be hanging on to. One for the brows and then a few for the inner corner and one for like detail line or shit I needed. So we're going to, these are all the ones we're going to be keeping. Also going to be hanging on to this one. This is part of that magnetic set. It says it's a lip brush, but I don't use it for a lip brush. I just use it for like inner corner highlight. Flat shader brush. Both of these came from AOA Studio from Shop Miss A. For now, I'm going to go ahead and hang on to both of them. This is a flat shader brush and this one is kind of a blending eyeshadow brush. So we'll go ahead and hang on to them for now. That is this one completely emptied. Now we're moving into the clear acrylic. This is where I mainly want to do my decluttering. Most of these brushes I never use. I never touch. They are just in here and they just really need to go ahead and go. Another highlighter brush. This one came from a Walmart set. I really do like this one. I'll be hanging on to it. This one I am going to declutter. It's a shorter kind of a shader brush. It's so super stiff. This doesn't even work for like putting on, you know, um, shimmer shadow all over the lid. I like to use these types of brushes for, but this one is just so stiff. It does not, not work for me. This one, this one, and this one, I'm going to go ahead and declutter. These came from uh, Revolution Advent Calendars that I got last year. These two from The Grinch and then this one was from one, I think that maybe in the 25 Days of Beauty calendar. All three of these I'm going to go ahead and declutter. I've tried to use them, but they just don't really work for my purposes. This one, definitely going to declutter. Let me see if there are any other flat brushes like this that I know that I want to get rid of. I'm going to be decluttering all of these. They're different size like shader brushes. These, like this one, this one, this one, way too stiff. These are like the wrong shape and size for what I need for my eye. These are angled and I try to use these to like apply shadow on the outer corner, but they're so big and so wild that the sh the shadow just goes everywhere. They just, they do not work for me. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one too. It's another flat shader brush. I like it, but it's just so big. That's one of the issues that I have with a lot of the shader brushes is that they're just so big. They don't work for my tiny eye space and I just, I cannot get the control that I need with them. So this is going to go. I'm going to hang it on to these two. Smaller, more detailed brush. This one works really, really good for the outer corner. I'm going to also declutter all of these. These were part of um, sets that came from Shop Miss A, but yeah, none of these work for me. This is another eyebrow brush, but I really only need one. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. All of these blending brushes. Let me grab these like bigger, fluffier brushes and we'll see what we have here and what we can keep and we can get rid of. All right. So all of these are fluffier blending brushes. I have ones that I specifically really like. I'm going to keep this one. That's a good one. Um, this is the pointed crease brush from Perfusion. It's another good one. I'm going to keep this one. This is part of a Beauty Bay collection. This is also a good one. This is part of that set that came from She Glam. This is a good one. The rest though, I'm going to go ahead and declutter. I have enough big fluffy blending brushes and I, these I, I never grab. Let me grab all of these like smaller, more blending brushes. So uh, let's see here. Definitely going to keep this one. This is part of that magnetic set for my daughter. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Um, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this one, this one, and I think that's it. 
the rest of these, I'm going to go ahead and declutter. I never pull these. There's no reason for them, you know, to be over here taking up space. And we are down to the last eyeshadow brushes before we move into the face brushes. Keeping this one, this is part of that magnetic set from my daughter. This one, this one, and this one I will be decluttering. They're all shader brushes. This one also has an angle on it. This is from Trace Luce. None of them really work for me though, so we're going to declutter these. These last two brushes I will definitely be hanging on to. We have a flat shader brush from Joa, works really good for shimmer. And then this one is just a nice pointy brush that I like to use for inner corner highlights. We have done all the eye brushes. Let's go ahead and go through my face brushes real quick. Most of them I will be keeping, but I know that there are a handful that I will go ahead and declutter. First, our Mulan cup. I'm going to grab the ones that I know for sure I am going to be keeping. This one I love for bronzer. It's just a soft uh, domed brush. This came from an Amazon kit for bronzer. This is absolutely perfect. These two are part of that magnetic set for my daughter. So I will be hanging on to these as well. This one and this one I am going to declutter and this one as well. These two came from sets. I think came, they came from Perfusion. They were like the free gift of purchases. Very, very stiff. Do not like the shape of these brushes. They're way too big for my face. This one was part of a BH Cosmetics set. This brush, it's, I don't even understand what it's for. Maybe contour, but it's extremely stiff, extremely, you know, dense, hard bristles. Just doesn't work for me. These three I'm going to declutter. I will be hanging on to both of these. These are like, um, I don't know what you would call them. The stippling brushes, like fluffy stippling brushes. These are really good for like, if I just want to put like light powder all over my face. I usually use a sponge, but sometimes I like to use a brush. But when I do, these are the ones that I use. I also like this one. Uh, the handle is starting to like break off. It came from an Amazon set I got like three years ago. It's a flat blush brush with kind of an angle. I like this one. This one I'm going to declutter. It's also a dome brush. I got this one from B from Beauty Bay, but this was a little bit stiffer. It's not as soft and fluffy as this one. So this one doesn't really work well for me. So we're going to get rid of that one. And then these last two. Angled blush brush. Keeping this one. This one. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and declutter. It's an okay brush, but it's it's a little bit stiffer. Um, I have a smaller one that's similar to this that I like to use for cream blushes. This one is just a little bit too big to work for that. So we're going to declutter these. That just leaves these. And then we will be done. All right, so I know I'm going to be getting rid of this. This is one of those like fan brushes for highlighter. I never use these. I don't even know why I kept this one. I kept this one for my last declutter. I've not used it once. Don't use fan brushes. We're going to declutter this. This one came from Perfusion. It is the angled powder brush, but this one works perfect for cream brush, so or cream blush rather. So that's what I like to use this one for. I also like to use this one for cream blush and these two. These two are angled. This one is kind of flat, but all three of these work really well for cream blushes. This one and this one, this one, this one. Well, actually, these three are good for like um, detail powder work. Like if I'm wanting to add a little extra powder just like around my pore area, my T-zone, these work really well for that. This one is a smaller domed brush. This one works good for bronzer though. So we're going to hang on to this one. Both of these are face brushes that came from AOA Studio. You have an angled brush and this one's more flat. This one I like to use for bronzer and this one I love to use for blush. It is so beautiful. And then this one, it's a more denser, stiffer brush, rounded at the top. This one also works good for cream blush. And that is it for our brush declutter. I'm going to go on ahead and do some rearranging and seeing what we can do um, all these brushes, as far as my eye brushes that are not in this container right here, should fit in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. You guys, we got rid of so many brushes of all the face and eye brushes combined that I had. This is everything that we are getting rid of. So many brushes. And then these are the eye brushes that I'm keeping, not counting the ones that are in my other folder. And then these, these are all the face brushes that we are hanging on to. I think we did really, really well. 
that's going to be it for this declutter. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help with my channel. If you are new to my channel, you are not already subscribed, I would love it. If you would consider joining my little family and hitting subscribe and make sure you tap the notification bell so you can notify of any videos coming up in the future. You can also follow me on my other socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.